The Steam Room presents Quickie. Bored as fuck. <sighs> and my dick is rubbing against his jeans. Why did I have to go commando today? <sighs> okay, Chris. Time to stop thinking about it and do something about it. Only one way to get rid of a boner. Now, let me see. Hmm, man on it. Hey there, Chris. Oh, <laughs> hey, Alice. How's the day going? Uh, pretty good. What are you busy with? Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, j- just the usual. <laughs> What's that look on your face? Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> just a little bored, I guess. I told you when you started working here, this place will do that to you. You've <laughs> got to find a way to keep yourself entertained. See, I've got lots of games on my phone, like Candy Crush, and I'm on level nine already. Like, isn't that amazing? Oh, God, my go away. I have a load to shoot. So amazing. I know. What time are you breaking for lunch? Uh, around 1.45. I'm at 2. Do you want to go down to Vida and get something together? Oh, God, no. Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, I already have plans. Oh, okay. No worries. I'll ask Tembi. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Enjoy your plans. Oh, I will. I will. You too. Okay. Let's check who's dropped me alive. Oh, hello, Quick 69. Hey, are you, um, Quickie69? <laughs> yeah, I'm Trevor. Uh, yeah, Chris. Cool. Where do you want to do this? There's a place behind those trees over there. You come here often? <laughs> yeah, a few days a week at least. Uh, you? No, never. Usually host at my place. Ah, well, I can't. Uh, I have a boyfriend at home. Ah, I see. Does that bother you? Couldn't give a shit. Good. Bareback. Yeah, if you're cool with that. Yeah. Cool. Are you on prep? Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought a few days ago. Note to self. Get more from the pharmacy. Cool. Are you a uh, top? First top, but top today, yeah. Ah, perfect. So, you ready? Let's go. There's a little path down there. Lead the way. Okay, right here is good. Now, don't worry about being gentle. Give me all your gut. <laughs> Turn around. Aye, aye. Nice. You like that? Oh, yeah. Fuck me harder. Oh, oh really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, fuck man, you sure know how to take a dick. <laughs> I've had lots of practice. Oh shit! Huh? Fucking hell! W- what's wrong? Hey, what is it? Dude, you're bleeding! A lot! This is what happens when you cheat. You know he loves you, so why the fuck would you go around sleeping with other guys? 
I'll tell you why, Chris. Because you're a fucking idiot. You had it coming, didn't you? Fuck. You don't even know his surname and you let him put his dick inside you without a fucking condom. What the fuck have you gotten yourself into? Chris, are you okay, mate? You've been in the shower for ages. Yeah, I'm fine. God, he's been such a good boyfriend as well. Uh, don't worry, I'm just washing my hair. Okay. You want to go out for dinner? Craig and Luke asked if we could maybe join them at Visa's. Oh, God, I don't even know if I can sit for that long. Ass on this fucking game. Uh, do you want to go? Can I come in? I'm not sure if I'm in the mood, uh, but I guess we could. We haven't been out in a while. I don't know. What do you think? There's no way I could come off normal right now. Oh, it's popping so badly. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm actually rather tired after today. Okay, I feel you. Mm, we can stay and watch movies and cuddle. Fuck, I know what that means. He's going to want to fuck later. There's just no way. Actually, maybe you're right. I think we should go. It has been a while since we've been out. Oh, okay. I'll let them know that we're in then. Cool. Finish up. I also have to shower. Oh, sure thing, babe. Almost done. Fuck my life. How the fuck did I let this happen? Just breathe. It doesn't actually hurt too badly. Thank fuck the pain pills are kicking in. I'm just so happy it's not bleeding anymore. At least there's that. What's on your mind? Hmm? You're really quiet, babe. No, I'm okay. Just a little tired. The turn-off is coming up, eh? Oh, you're right. Jeez. Thanks, yeah? <sighs> you sure you're okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, nothing to worry about. Okay, we're here. We don't have to stay too long. You're denying it, but I can tell something's up. I know you. Yes, you do know me so well. That's the <laughs> That's why he's been avoiding us. It's like, I'm sorry, but your wig look busted as fuck. And those little kitten meals... Gave me gonorrhea so fast as looking at them. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be mean. You do. <laughs> okay, maybe I do, but damn. Category is butch bitch. First time at the ball. <laughs> Speaking of STDs, though, did you two hear what happened to Nicholas? Greg, baby, you probably shouldn't. No, I mean, Nick told us. Yeah, but it's fine. Everybody already knows. Okay, but maybe just keep your voice down. Okay, well... Nick tested positive. Oh my god. What? Does that mean I'm positive too? Oh shit, I knew I shouldn't have done it. Shit. And all that bleeding. What the fuck? Yo, I says he got it from a grinder hookup. That's so fucked up. Isn't he still dating Jean though? It's so fucked up. Fucking hell. Jin must be freaked out. He was for a bit, but he got tested and he's clean. They broke up a few days back. Wow. They've been together for ages. Mm -hmm. They started dating just after me and Chris. What's that like? Four years? Four years? How long have we been together? Has it been four years? What if I already infected him? Oh, shit. This is a disaster. That's so long. I mean, if you want to spice things up, then spice things up. I really do like Nick. But it's selfish as fuck. It is. Just like I'm a selfish fuck. Selfish, selfish, selfish. Completely. I, I can't deal with that. It's horrible. I mean, can you imagine how close he came to fucking up his boyfriend's life just because he couldn't keep it in his pants? Yeah, I mean, like, exactly. It's really not about the fact that he was sleeping with other guys. It's about the fact that he let someone believe they were monogamous when they weren't. It's just not okay. Chris, you're really quiet. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Guess I'm just processing it all. It's such a blow. It really is. It's the worst thing you could possibly do to somebody else, eh? And here I am, not on prep, and bleeding from there. Oh, my fuck did I let this happen? Fuck. I'm not feeling so good. I'm thinking I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm positive! Thank <laughs> you. 
Good afternoon, Dr. Coswell, GP and Pharmacy. One moment. Honey, can you wait? Have a seat over there. Your results will be here just now. Thank you. Wow, it's like... I can't even feel anything right now. My feelings are gone. I think this is what people mean when they use the word numb. Because that's it. I'm numb. I can't believe what I've got myself into in this one. I had a whole man. I had a good job. I had a boyfriend. I had everything I could possibly need. It wasn't enough. Now it wasn't enough. You just couldn't keep away from your parents. And now... Now you're about to join the ranks of the fight. Dude, you're bleeding. You're no, a lot. Boyfriend. A boyfriend. A boyfriend. A boyfriend. Come inside and give me my food. Christopher, the doctor will see you now. That was Quickie, written by Arlen Banton. It featured Hendrik Baird as Chris, with Caitlin Baird as Alice, Livia Delgallo as Trevor, Caleb Moruani as the boyfriend, Ruan Spencer as Luke, Rian Pilati as Craig, and Ziander Yono as the receptionist. Direction was by Hendrik Baird, and production by Ethan Baird. This play was produced as part of the Steam Room, which is brought to you by the National Department of Health's PILA Project. Gay Essay Radio, where you are family.